Seniors are being recruited to play in college. You can see there's just one athlete after another. That ball's going to run away. And Lichty will pick it up, take a couple of bounces, and then sets the ball down to play from the floor. Drives it right at the halfway line, bounces one in the center circle. Headed along by X, she gives chase, but first to it. Flopless, and she puts the ball out of bounds. Just three seniors on the CVCA team. A lot of juniors, some underclassmen, some freshmen and sophomores, but uh, again, a very good program, a good team that uh, Coach Houston has, has built here in just his, uh, this being his third season. Attack on the left side. We near the midpoint of the opening half. A game that's been dominated, certainly in terms of possession, crosses, shots by Lake Catholic in white, but they're on the wrong side of the score sheet. Still probably trying to figure out just how it happened. It's just the fifth goal they've allowed all season. You can see the way they play, the high energy they bring, the pressure to the ball when they lose it. They fight to win it back immediately. Very aggressive with a bad throw in there. Wilson looking for some help. Finds it in the center of the park. Needs to be a clean touch, and it is. A little back and forth. And an attacking pass, and a good one. A controlling touch, and then just a little unbalanced. Salatino there on the right-footed shot. Good run by Salatino right there. See, good first touch, just missed struck when she went to put her right foot on the ball. But a good run, good find. Yeah, it was an excellent pass, wasn't it? Goal kick finds its way to midfield, specifically the center circle. Rolled back and then played out wide. Good bit of possession, nice patience by the Cougars, but that forward pass is lost. Off the shoulder of Morgan. Then a quick forward pass. It's not a bad little head touch, but I wonder if she had just turned and run. She's gonna get a chance again, right in front, header. Great diving wow. save. That's a beauty from Lichty. Well-crafted attack, and in the end, outstanding goalkeeping. Great plays on both, for both teams. You see here, good cross, beautiful header right in the position. Lauren Lichty, though, with a great save. Wow. We'll have to keep that one in mind for a uh, save of the game if uh, we get to that point. And that's about as good as it's going to get. Very quick to react. Those headers are very tough as a goalkeeper, especially that close. You know, it doesn't come off as, as hard or as fast as it would off the foot, but the direction can be anywhere. And you can see she did a great job just getting her hand there. Beautiful save. Nice through ball. Left side. They continue to to look at, at good spots in which to attack the Cougars, but have to give credit to CBCA because they just well they read defensively as a group. Again, you see four blue kits surrounding the ball. This is where they continue to have problems in the first half is that outlet finding a, a friendly. They get the ball, too. That one bounces up, drops to the ground, and a shot from distance. Struck pretty well, but well wide of the mark. The pressure for Lake Catholic, they keep it on. One of those where we've talked about, on, again, on other broadcasts and even in this game, just taking, taking those shots on goal, getting 
uh, building the confidence that you can get the shots. Eventually something's going to be more on target. The tougher it is for the goalkeeper to handle, the easier it is to uh, to find the back of the net. Towards the center. And then quickly wrapped out. Kreitzer. Well, the goal really hasn't changed the game, has it? I mean, it continues to be Lake Catholic pressing and pressing and pressing and CBCA absorbing that pressure. And then every once in a while getting forward and here a turnover. Wilson's toss is off of Eck and out of bounds. One of the things I've never quite understood is a player checks to a throw in and yet when the ball arrives, it's only got one direction to go. <laughs> right. Right back at the touch line. Right. Into the center, unable to control. And the ball is quickly played out by Tessa Osborne. But a junior expected to provide toughness and leadership, which is so critical when you're only playing three in the back. You really have to tie things up in transition with your midfield, and thus far the Cougars have done a pretty good job of that. There's a perfect example, a nice step, and while Osborne came up, she had Bryn Morgan there to support her, who cleaned up. CBCA taking care of the ball right here. I'm very impressed with this possession that they've had so far. Slowly building up and then looking for that three ball there. May have a little bit too much on it. Now well, again, I think we see an example of Peck who is clearly not only good on the ball, but comfortable on the ball, but really taking too many touches. Yeah, she's got a, you know, she, she's got a lot of teammates out there that are, are capable as well. Um, we've seen some, you know, just from the back, uh, in the defense, you've got uh, Jaya Wilson has, has been able to strike the ball well. It's They've been able to build when, you know, especially on that last possession, they built it from the back. Uh, and now let's see how they can take care of the ball here. And they just serve that long ball in that it's going to be taken over by Lake Catholic. Ball was headed back, could have been picked up by the goalkeeper, but instead just cleared away. And that's a metal mistake. And then the ball's lost out of bounds. Kati Trezina there. Just couldn't keep it on her foot. Good idea, did her best to shield the defender from the ball and just lost it. Thirteen forty to go here in the first half. This is the first time this evening that CBCA has really been able to put some sustained pressure in the attacking half of the park. They have largely absorbed it. Ball headed into the center. Played wide, then forward to target. Unable to get there. Abby Hutt doing some work in midfield. Good check back layoff, little forward back and through. And good recovery defensively. Jaya Wilson wins that foot race. At first she was beat. Was able to get back into position and clear the ball out. Did a great job there. Battling against just a freshman. Zena now checks out. Newhart on the throw in. Short. Lauterbeck spins towards the middle, finds some help. That's where the shot is blocked. The rebound picked up and the transition opportunity. Spodnik quickly gets the ball into Eck. She's on the move, gets past a couple. Works her way into the box and then a Lunging clear by Regina Ploplis. 
Thought it was good work from Eck initially. She got in, set herself up in a 1v1. Was really expecting her to do something at speed, but she was more methodical in her approach, and that allowed the defensive recovery time needed for Lake Catholic. Ball in the center channel, pings away. And that is gonna be a foul, no question about it. Gonna get Sarah Tomich there. And she stepped up, it was a foul, but certainly nothing egregious about it. It's another look. Just a little bit late. Into the box. For Lichty. Neither team has done a lot of substituting. CBCA really hasn't looked much to their bench at all, and just a couple of changes for the Cougars. Over the top. Heck is in, and she's on side. Ball, though, goes off her leg, and that ends that attack. One of those bounces, that as soon as it hit her leg, it actually gained a little bit of speed. You see it there, right off her leg, right before we got to the replay. She put a little bit more on it and was able to get to the keeper quicker. Another forward back and through opportunity. Wilson comes over, gets a touch, and then it's pushed out. That's a good pat. Cut back move on the dribble. The play is halted by the foul. The idea and the execution quite good. It was actually the move that led to the foul. Inside 10 minutes to go here in the first half. We've seen some of these restarts for Lake Catholic. Put the ball in the air right across the mouth of the goal. Like that. Seems like only a matter of time until they can Get, one, get a goal off of one of those. But they're doing a great job when they have those restarts. Bouncing ball, but that's handled smoothly by Lauren Lichty, who has really been on top of her game. She's made all the simple saves, and then the one time she was significantly challenged, she took care of it. Earlier I mentioned the Regional semifinal exit to Hoban, and that was actually Lake Catholic as opposed to Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. Oh, they both were. They both uh, were knocked out a year ago. Uh, the semifinals. The CVCA was knocked out. Lake Catholic in the regional finals. Long ball out of the back, and that one's going to run away from everybody. And pushed out of bounds. Coach Houston talked about attacking with a purpose when they have the ball in the offensive third. They've made the most out of some of their opportunities now so far. continues its march. Takes a little bit of time to get this ball wrapped up and back into play. Started the season with three consecutive wins. Did Lake Catholic by a combined goal scoring total of nine to two. Left footed effort from distance. Reasonable enough. Anticipation of a runner, but not on this occasion. We 
get two substitutions here for Lay Catholic. Just under seven minutes to go. Shadows continue to grow longer as the sun fades to the west. Players from the bench side looking across the field right into it. Left footed up in the air and on a bounce. Lost out of bounds. Take a look at it there. A little bit of a collision there. Nicole Bush. Certainly no, no fear on her part going in. Coach was stressing win the 1v1. She was trying to win that free ball there and definitely gave, gave a great effort. Controlling touch was good. Invertly turned right into trouble. And looking to work the give and go there. Unable to finish it off. Right at the top of the penalty area. Back out to the middle. Cut off smoothly. Push to the right side. Impressed by Lake Catholic to this point, they've really stayed with their game. Another down a goal, they haven't changed things. Attacking throw and coming on the right side. Just less than five minutes to go in the half. Good idea there, a quick throw. Give right back. Service cut off and quickly released by Abby Hutt. This is pretty much the way the majority of this half has gone. CBCA working hard to get the ball out to midfield, but more often than not having to come right back at them. Good patience. Osborne, maybe better served to go to the opposite side. The ball came from the left attacking perspective. A lot of bodies had congregated in that area. Oh, nifty. It's really good footwork there by Abby Hutt. Threw well stopped on its way through. Sent into the Lake Catholic area. Continue to look like they're right on the verge of the big breakthrough. But it hasn't panned out yet. Still plenty of time to go. Although it is late in the first half. How about that? Good bit of skill from your right back. Up the touch line, driven into the middle. Just wish you would have seen right there. CVCA continue to keep the ball coming this way. Once more, it's Eck doing the work and in defensively. Plopis. I really like the job that Plopis has done here in the first half. She has been called into action has done her job defensively and has also shown, as we see this floater, she's also shown that she's very confident on the ball. Good just curling touch. She's just a junior, you know, one of these uh, players that Coach Lawrence has, you know, for another season, and, and not a whole lot of seniors on this side either. A lot of juniors um, coming back from that regional finals team a year ago. So both of these teams have have some young talent that they can build on. And I think for both coaches, 
they haven't seen the best soccer that these girls can play yet, and they've still got another year with a lot of these players. And they've got some size, don't they? That's a good move, a cut to the left. Can she penetrate at that point? Nope, plays it off. Good service in the box. Laid back, very unselfish. Ball bounces around, trying to get that good look. Finally found it, but it's over the top. Nice pressure being put on by Lay Catholic here in the final two minutes. Just thoroughly impressed with how patient they are and how unselfish they are. Even though down a goal, nobody's leaving the game plan, trying to go be the hero on their own, making good decisions. choice there by the keeper. It's a beautiful ball. Driven to the other penalty area, had a chance to tie the game, and there it is. There it is. It all started with the keeper. Kennedy Salimosi, and she's being hugged. And everybody's focused on who scored the goal. Well, Salimosi deserves a big <laughs> hug, because while her intent was to clear that ball long, it worked out perfectly. And this is the pass that they've tried and been unable to connect on is getting it over the top. As you see the look there from behind, it looks like Lichtier maybe actually overran that a little bit. See if she doesn't go past right there. And Isabel Sentel does a great job. Yeah, the finish was calm, wasn't it? Didn't hurry anything. She knew that uh, the goalkeeper was away. Well, and as we've seen on so many occasions, the players get in front of the goal, the pressure mounts. They tend to take a hurry touch. Often they go high. She had the composure to recognize the goalkeeper had come out. So all she had to do is regret three is directed on target. And that's exactly what she did. So very heads up soccer play there. Again, looking for an over the top ball. In the final seconds of the first half. And that's going to wrap it up. 40 minutes into this Monday night encounter. A beautiful September evening it is at Lake Catholic. And though they've had the better of it, most of the stats are going to fall to their favor, even on the scoreboard, as both teams, I think, really demonstrating what they want to do as CVCA has come forward. They've looked for Haley Eck. She's been heavily involved, but it's been more of Lake Catholic possessing and attacking. And I think what we just saw with that last goal is indicative of what they are capable of. And we've seen a lot of those opportunities, just some missed opportunities, but Lake Catholic has been strong on the attack, and it's almost like that one goal is what they needed. And they have the potential for the floodgates to now open. That now that you've got that first goal, uh, it's almost scary what they might be capable of if they are able to keep that pressure on. Uh, now that they got over that hump and got that first one in the goal, uh, they could be very scary offensively the rest of the way. 40 minutes does not a match make. We got another half to play, but we are at the midpoint of this encounter. Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy visiting Lake Catholic. The Cougars with a late first half goal on the scoreboard on level terms, tied at one. We are in Mentor, home of Lake Catholic. This is their sixth game of the season. They have yet to lose. Open with three wins. Follow that up with a couple of draws. And that's right where we are.